Welcome to Wild Questions. I'm Savage Kapahu, and this is the moment we take to have the conversations we know are important, but we don't always talk about. This is about the stories that matter behind the questions we ask, and I am joined by my friend, colleague, and CEO of Wild Leaders, Dr. Rob McKenna. Dr. McKenna, today we are talking about teams, and the question that I have is, how do you get under the skin of your team? All right. All right, Sabbath. So I'm going to ask you a question. I want to ask you a question is why does, does it matter to you um, to work on a great team? I love that question. And um, the more I have an opportunity to do so, the more I realize that uh, the way I get to interact with the people on my team affects everything that we do together and everything that happens when I walk away from them and I do on my own. So um, it affects everything. Yeah. Yeah. So this, uh, thank you. This, um, this question, how do you get under the skin of your team? Um, I love it because it's saying, how do you get underneath the surface? of what's actually going on in teams. And uh, you know, I can't help, but I I'm a psychologist, right? So I think about these things and I've studied these things for years and I taught it to graduate students and all kinds of leaders about the, what do we know about the functioning of teams? All that is important. And I, I, I hope part of this serves as an invitation to come to Friday, the wild conversation at 10 a.m. Pacific time. Uh, and this Friday we're launching our new series on, on building a great team. And, uh, Boy, oh boy, from a whole perspective, what is this about? There is some great literature and research out there on like, what does it mean to build an adaptive team? You know, should teams be more diverse or less diverse? What does it mean to build a team that's aligned and that's performing well? All of those things matter. Like they all matter as a part of our whole story. What this has gotten me thinking about is what is the story underneath all of that? Like, why does this matter? Why does a great team working on a, what we would describe as a great team matter to us? And here's what I would say is that the health and functioning of the team we work on is so fundamentally core <laughs> to our capacity to flourish as human beings um, and even to, to perceive ourselves on a daily basis as whole. Like there is, we, we just talk about team performance and we work, these are people we spend a ton of time with working together on mission together, hopefully. And think of all the variables that that affects in our lives. It's kind of unbelievable how much it could tear us down or build us up. And so as we get into this series, my hope um, and my aspiration for our conversations together over the next few weeks on these Fridays is it will not only uncover what do we know about the functioning of teams and the adaptability of teams and their ability to build trust and to perform together, but also to get underneath that to say, why does this even matter? Because it's not just for building products or delivering processes, but there's something about the health and functioning of a great team that quite literally, I don't know if this is too much, but feeds our soul. Um, so we're going to go there. I'm really excited for the conversations and um, we all know what it's like to be on a uh, not great team and we know how to uh, break the system, so to speak, but how do we, how do we move towards wholeness? <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's going to be rich. Okay. So Fridays, our first conversation of the series is this Friday. At 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Eastern, and you can find it at wildleaders.org. And we'll share the links here in the comments and all over our social media accounts. So all you have to do is click the link and sign up to join, and we'll see you on Friday. <music>